Okay, my friends from clinics and universities. So here are the tests we are going to do. The only one that we are not doing test, we are already going to give warm medicines for two or four following years, is the parasite test. That is really worth it to do this way. We will have enough for two or four years. I think four will be better because after that people are going to be taking sun, but we are not 100% sure that all pests get out of the body with the sun. So we are taking, let's already decide, four years and not okay, two. Okay, my friend. Okay? So here we are. Uh, the order of health test. So we're going to have one authorization form for each family and form results separate for those that are needed. So here on the side I already wrote on authorization on results, on authorization on results, on authorization on results, okay? Uh, to be really clear because some are long, like the drug test gonna be one per person. Uh, does not fit two, right? Okay, but for some other things can be for the whole family. All right. So, these are the two most important ones, the complete blood test and the urine drug test, all right? At arrival, the first day, they do these two. So, if you get a group of families that schedule that day, so a half goes to this, a half goes to that, and then they already start, as soon as they finish one, they can already go to the other. So, here, same day, one after another, my note here on the side. They're also going to have the complete skin test all the way from toe to head. That includes the scalp for lice or for scabies or anything else, and also the anus area for hemorrhoids, okay? All right, so you're going to make the notes and so on. Now, basic vitals. So you're going to check the lungs, hear the lungs. Um, check, see the ear, check the pulse, see the throat, the tonsils. It's two answers for the tonsils. They have or they don't? Which one? So you're going to put a little square there, have the right tonsil, have the left tonsil. Because many doctors in some places, they just make people to get operated. They get the money from the person they don't even have. They have problems because they eat unhealthy, not because they have a real tonsils, problems on their tonsils, okay? All right, here they will do the simple diabetes test, that is uh, poking their finger, done, okay? All right, the weight, the height, and already give the body mass, and we're done with that. For the parasites, we are not doing the test. We are going to give a complete warm medicine according to the area the person lived, okay? That can be vermectin or others or two. Let's try the best we can to no more to cover all of them, you know, that is most likely they're going to have on that area they were living, okay? All right. Um, because afterwards will be okay because people are going to take a lot of sun nobody going to have worms but for now, these first two years we're going to do that we're going to take warm medicine for two years two years and two different types okay, alright so here we have diabetes complete test only for those that have problems with the finger the poking of the finger okay and if uh, for the children, for diabetes 1, diabetes 2, only if they have any symptoms, all right? Or if this result didn't come good. Okay, so then they have the male, the female test. That will be from newborns all the way until the elders. You know, check everything really properly. It's normal, it's not normal. Uh, it's abnormal, I mean... Um, all the details for males, they're going to see the testicles they have, they don't, they're dropped or not. So they check the outer part and also, you know, um, the inner part. Okay, 
So here, um, the diabetes I already explained over there. We don't need this here. Okay, we don't need this here. So this is the video test. I already explained how to do it with the doctor, right? Uh, is another test. So this is the number six. And then they have the number eight is the dental test, the x-ray. And if the gingivites have, um, um, it is, so it's retractor, to retractor, the gingivites. Or if they have any other, if they have ulcers, right, on the tongue. Um, or they have on a, around their mouth, right, on the mouth. Okay, so going to be all dental information, if they need the implants or not, right? Okay, so here it is. So here on the side, the ones that we don't need um, here, it's for the um, um, everything going to need. Because the worm, they need authorization as well. No results for the worm. So for the worm... They need authorization, no results. Okay? All right? Okay, so here it is. So ignore this then. Sorry. Everyone need authorization. Everyone need the proper results. Some results, they like this, the basic vitals, can fit something else on that same page. Okay? All right, this you have to wait anyways uh, to see when this is ready because you're not doing your own before you have everything properly listed at the website. The other thing I said, we're going to have cameras on the top of bathrooms. We're not because that's not needed. People are going to be naked. We're not going to have cameras where, when people are naked. We're going to have people watching them with the bathrooms open. And for the skin test, the same way, instead of having just one doctor, there are going to be one or two couples. Make sure that couple, you know, it's another couple sitting on the side writing down. Make sure what they're writing is true. That we're going to have, but no cameras because to avoid, you know, because those cameras, they record videos. Those videos are going to be stored to avoid on the future people using them for negative things. All those videos in one year, when they get one year old, they will be deleted because we don't need. If the person have a problem in any way, you know, uh, if it's a crime or if it's um, negative practices, they have to check on a daily basis and not too long. So after one year, all those videos will be deleted because we don't need to keep anything that's very old. Okay? All right. So we're doing really great. And... We will see you soon. Okay, so here it is. And as soon as, just for you to have an idea, and also for our volunteers that are helping us to organize, make those forms for the website. So here's the information. Okay? All right. So it is decided then the war medicine, every family from all countries will be taking them for four years. And we're not going to have tests because they are not needed they just take a complete i think two types or so like ivermectin and one more um it's good and they can take another type uh, soon after maybe after a month two months you know because for now I, we know that uh, some more medicine kill kills good bacteria from the gut as well but it's better do that than sorry afterwards right okay so we will do it for four years and take um, all types that are needed to cover everything according to the area they live and for those that have more symptoms and then it's okay we're gonna take a warm medicine if they have more you know a clear symptom negative symptom exposed at the um, eye test or the pulse test you know, those natural way of diagnosis, then it's okay, all right? On those uh, health tests, I told you, they also going to be the number 10 here will be the test, uh, the eye test, right? The iridologies, and the number 9 going to be the naturopath. Naturopath test is the pulse. 
because these two tests, the eye test, the iridology, and the pulse test, based on naturopathy, they can give a big diagnose for the person. You know, so those are the basic ways we are going to use. In regions that they do other type of tests that secure, such as checking the, the bottom of their feet and things like that, we can do it as well. But these other two, it's cleaner, it's easier, and a lot can be found. Mostly the eye test, okay? So we have a basic idea on the person's health, just checking their eyes, you know, um, with, with proper materials, okay, the, the big lenses. All right, so will be a total of 10 tests, and for parasites, only people that have major problems, major health problems. And those that are too weak, they eat maybe for two or four weeks, um, two weeks, and then they take the medicine. All right. So, yes, they eat, I think, up to two weeks is plenty. We do the best they can for people that are really weak or really skinny for any reason, right? Because it can be HIV, it can be malnutrition, can be many different things. So, we give the best meal as possible so they're strong to handle those warm medicines. No more than two weeks. Okay, because they we don't want them to be infecting other people. Okay, all right. Every family taking the warm medicines, might be two, might be even four different types, have to take together. They go to the clinic and take with the doctor. They have to pass at the clinic before they go to work, before they go to school, whichever is their situation. So we are sure they took those meds in front of them and another couple watching. Because some people, my friends, they just don't like to take pills. You know, they give uh, many reasons to don't take them. So they have to take them at in front of the, another couple. The doctor, the nurse is going to give another couple is right there and... Four of them will sign that form daily. If they have to take once a day, they take once a day. Because, and if they have to take twice a day, let's do the best to take one a day, right? So the families, a group of families can come in the morning before they go anywhere. The group of families can come at lunchtime. And another group of families can go in the evening, um, like four to five or five to six. And have proper schedule for them okay so that's how we're gonna do because that's the only way and people leave their work a little early or you know get to school or university or adult education a little late so we have these three groups of people taking these warm medicines all right so they're not bringing warm medicine to be taken at home proper amount gonna be established for everyone from infants to elders everyone needs to take what's established for them because that's the only way we're gonna be safe you know and even before the war medicine we have to take care of lice that's another problem right so they have to boil their clothes they have to clean the floor they cannot shake their, their, their bed sheets, so we're going to show many, many videos, you know, that group of trailers for people to have consciousness how important it is for them to take all those medicines, right? And teach them also things I said in other videos, but this, once this, we have to check the form. So the form for worms going to be, they have to, to boil their towel. Everyone going to use that mini towel, mini towels or hand towels for shower. Okay, so they will understand how different types of worms get spread to others. For example, for pinworm, you cannot shake the bed. You have to wash uh, them really well, you have to boil shower towels, you have to boil the kitchen towel and wash your hands, wash your nails and everything else. 
for other types is barefoot and other things, right? So we're gonna explain everything. So they're gonna be first, the main thing is take care of the, the um, lice, if they have any scabies, worms, all these basic things, and any other infec uh, inf inf uh, transmissible disease, okay? So they have clarity on everything because they these two weeks, they have to boil all those towels anyways, two or four, I think four weeks, four or eight weeks. Okay, so let's do like that. They have to boil that same exact day, you know, and let's give them mini towels, you know, 20 by 20, why not? Yeah, people can dry themselves 20 by 20. So they're gonna have those mini towels for um, four weeks or eight weeks. After that, they can have their uh, hand towel for two years because we have to end all these bad things that is still around in many countries for lack of hygiene, for lack of washing the hair, basic things, lack of proper hand washing, cut nails, and so on, all right? And um, so basically it's that. So make a very complete form for all this, if you're a volunteer, for all these 10 different things, 10 different items, and uh, for the person that is checking, to make check marks, yes, no, yes, no, the same as I explained for the drug test, yes, no, yes, no, and always have four signatures. For minor, will be the same as the drug test. For spouse, will be their spouse, and two people from the clinic itself. Always with room for four centimeters of the person's a fingerprint for only those two fingers on the side of their signature, okay? All right, and children up to three years old, the parents write their names. If they're four and older, they have to write their first name uh, the way I told you. If they don't know, you know, the parent or the office person write very clear in, in blue or pencil, and the person, the four years old or older, just write their name on the top, okay? All right, so here it is. And um, always have all materials needed before you start receiving the families. And never print too many of it, because if we have any improvement, you know, uh, you have 24 hours to um, start using the new forms, okay? All right, all right, thank you so much, and get ready. We'll see you soon. So for these first two years from the organization launching day, everyone gonna use synthetic medication. Why is that? Because they're almost 100% secure, or 100%, right? Okay. And soon after these two years, we are going to have the natural uh, medicine made by ourselves for those that are 100% or almost 100% um, safe, that they really work. Because, my friends, we have to find a way. In many places, the, the, the soil is uninfected, okay? So it's a lot of work we have to do and make sure we have clean soil for our um, garden beds, okay? All right. Okay, so once we are ready here, please from now on already give the, the, these updates for the Department of um, gardens, right? Edible gardens, agroforestry. So all our soil need to be a hundred percent safe where we are planting salads. You know, the family beds need to be, so we won't get nematodes and anything else. So it's very important to be a hundred percent safe. So how are we going to do that? Okay, places that have a lot of soil that's already contaminated, but they are 
you know, in, in rivers or even in cities that you don't have bathrooms or in areas that have a lot of farming animals, you know, like animals of different types and we really don't know and so on. So what we are going to do, uh, the first is a scrape, that's ideas, right? And each area going to see what's the best. So the first is a scrape well the soil that's in already there right that might be contaminated is proven to be contaminated scrape well second bring soil from far away right from other areas that don't have animals in rivers you know or farm any uh, farm soil from farm farm that have animals and so on so bring new soil that's number two bring new soil where is needed we can have the soil uh, you know these uv lights that neutralize the soil all right so you know these uv lights that pass through a filter and uh, kills all the bacteria and algae from water ponds so it's basically is that it's just that's not for water it's a uh, it's a irradiation of the UV light. It's synthetic. It's not good. But my friends, if we need, we need. Okay. So, if they don't have good soil in that city, they go to this radiation. The same as they sell. For example, here in the United States, we have bags that we can trust. They pass through a type of system that they're hundred percent sure, or it's a complete new soil from somewhere. And uh, every location, every site of all types need to do their soil test for pests, right? For uh, disease, for all these things, for nematodes and everything. So they will have new soil coming in. Or maybe they don't need, maybe their soil is good, it's clean for a long time. But in some other communities, people have a lot of dogs. In cities, they have rats, like people, you know, like a, a, a downtown, you know, the, the main town, people have too many restaurants, and they also have too many rodents or cockroaches and things, so we have to be careful of those things, right? For rats, for example, the water comes from the rain, you know, can infect large areas, so we have to make sure, put always put cardboard on the bottom, okay and after that put the new soil or the irradiated soil okay and in areas that are gonna have more time so depending what they have such as yuca, other things corn right things that are easy to harvest they're gonna stay longer on plantations um, we're gonna see what's the best bring new soil scrape well first and then bring new soil how deep that gonna be according to the problem they have on that region okay and um, if, what will be the best bring new soil or get the soil they have irradiated and neutralized without anything because then they won't have the good but they also won't have the bad right uh, and then, with the new compost, we're going to bring new bacteria. All right, we're going to bring new bacteria in with families' own compost at their own garden bed. It's forbidden to share compost, so here's another improvement. They have that. They will already be digging here and there, he cut very small, right? All the species, such as banana peeling, or anything else because all the other uh, very thin peelings for carrots for beets uh, for grapes for everything else we're gonna eat peaches nectarines we're gonna eat the only ones you're not eating are the very thick ones families cut them really small and they have to use uh, their own garden best they they make some holes right and put them this side and then two days every two days they bring their bucket outside I think that's the most reasonable, right? Forbidden to share for what? Let's put like four years forbidden to share composting, you know, to be safe. Maybe forever. Maybe it's a rule forever. You know, in the main area, that's different for the um, 
like I said, for the corn or for the yuca, other big roots that takes a really long time, that's different. They can prepare the compost together with others watching and, and put that compost that was prepared together, they put together at this land according to the plant needs, right? Because some might need a little more alkaline soil, some might need a more acidic soil. We have different plants of all types, the same as for fruit trees, right? They have different needs, okay? All right, so thank you so much, and you're doing really great. Thank you, volunteers, for having our forms ready at our website and all these details. Thank you. So for the cities, the pea cities, the ones we are creating, we are just only going to have clinics at the universities. We don't need to have clinics because families are going to go only twice a year, right, for their regular checkup and after a few years, only once a year. Yeah, and after a few years, I don't know exactly how many, maybe after four years or so, they are only going once a year because everyone going to be really healthy, really strong, even for dental. They don't need the six-month checkup. But that's afterwards. For the first four years, everyone will do their checkups twice a year for us to make sure everyone is healthy, okay? All right, so this was an improvement as well. All right. Thank you for all your cooperation, dear volunteers. Have everything ready. Thank you.